Hey there Capricorn, this is your reading. Let's see, this is going to be a reading how your person feels about you. You know, how they feel about you, how they see your relationship and what to expect next, okay? We're going to get some energy for you and your person, okay? For your person, we have friendship. Okay, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay, for you we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Okay, so I feel like something has changed. Something is changing. You and your relationship are going through changes at the moment. You know, you may be going through some kind of evolution, um, some kind of growth is happening in your relationship, okay? But I feel like with this friendship card, I feel like, you know, you're remaining friends through all of this. And I feel like maybe, you know, being friends first and as well as lovers is very important to you, okay? Because I feel like... You know, you want a deeper commitment than just a lover. I feel like you want someone who you can really talk to and, you know, ask those important decisions and really appreciate a important answer. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on for your person. Okay, your person... How they feel right now about the situation. They feel like you're very familiar. I mean, this is family. This is commitment. This is, you know, um, memories, reminiscing, um, reunions. So I feel like, you know, this may be some type of reunion that's happening at the moment. Maybe you're separated and reuniting. Um, but I feel like this is family. This is reason to celebrate, okay? Uh, the way they see you is the King of Wands. They see you as very fiery, very compassionate, you know, full of passion. And they feel like, you know, you're very adaptable to the situation. You see how he's holding that chameleon in his hand. And his cloak also has chameleons. So he's very adaptable to any situation. So I feel like there's no fear at all of any changes. Because you're just evolving in this situation with the changes. Okay? How they see this relationship. Where they see it going is the king of pentacles. So I feel like your person finds a lot of value in this relationship. There's a lot of commitment, a lot of loyalty, a lot of stability. And I feel like, you know, you may, this may be something that you've been in for a while. Because I feel a lot of commitment here. This may be your mate. If this isn't your spouse, I feel like this could very well be a soulmate. Because there's a lot of loyalty and commitment. There's a lot of value to this relationship. And I feel like, you know, you value the stability and the commitment that it brings, you know. So I feel like that's what you're looking for overall in a relationship is the ability to commit, to be loyal, to stay grounded and have something long term. Okay, now let's see how you feel about this relationship, Capricorn. Okay, you feel the Four of Pentacles. So you want to protect your relationship. You're willing to protect this relationship at all costs. Okay, because you see this relationship as something that is going to last a very long time. So that is very interesting here. Um, I still feel like, you know, you're very curious, Capricorn. I feel like you're very curious about the situation. There's some things about your mate that are still kind of hidden. They're still kind of buried deep within there. 
you know you may have known your person since childhood or you know they may be very familiar with you maybe a friend of the family or um someone that you grew up with went to school with or you know something of that nature but i feel like it's been a long time you're ready to move forward in the situation you're ready to go to the next level you're ready to you know go through these changes and see what lies next okay that's what i feel okay let's go ahead and clarify these cards for the six of cups why do we have the six of cups here spirit give me a message for the six of cups why does capricorn's person feel like the six of cups i'm just getting with this energy maybe it's past life energy yeah the, look at this we have the king of wands the king of wands wow so the six of clubs cups is clarified by the king of wands and i think it's clarified by the king of wands because there's you know out of this familiarity um there's been a lot of passion there's been a lot of action there's been a certainty about things and i'm really getting i'm really getting past life energy here you've known this person from before this person is from some past life some somewhere from before hmm i'm going to clarify that one more time and it's very interesting that we're getting the king of wands twice so i really feel like these changes that are that you're going through are totally moving you in a direction that's going to put you into a new evolution of this relationship this relationship is moving to the next cycle okay tell me more about this king of wands energy why do i feel like this is a past life energy okay the page of wands I feel like, you know, this may be some kind of situation to where this is very confusing, for one. For one, I feel like it's very new, like it's immature. And I feel like it's immature because maybe you started out as young children. You know, maybe you started out as teenagers. Maybe you were together a very long time. But I feel like, you know, that this is something that you need to trust in. Because I do feel like you were connected. You were connected in a life before. Okay? So what I was feeling about this past life energy, this, this is very... interesting because i feel like you were connected you were connected and now you're brought back together in this reunion in this new love situation see the six of cups this is connection this may be past lives this may be past people um but it's very familiar it's family it's celebration it's reuniting Okay, the King of Wands energy is, you know, very fiery, very passionate. And I feel like your, your love story is very passionate. It's very giving, but it's moving forward. It's moving to the next level. And I feel like the, with this page of Wands, the pages are very immature. They're at a beginning stage. They're teenagers or children okay and with the high priestess this is some kind of connection that you have to the past 
this is a connection to the past. Okay? So that's very interesting, Capricorn. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Now, why is the King of Wands here for how they feel about you? Why is the King of Wands here for how they feel about you, Capricorn? Yeah. Look at this. Because you bring a fire, a spark. You're a spotlight to them. You, you have brought them healing. Healing waters into their life. You have helped them adapt to the healing that they needed. That's the reason why they see you as the King of Wands. They see you as the King of Wands because of that. Because you have brought them to that healing place. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you and this person are great partners. You both provide a lot of stability. You're both very loyal. You both kind of mirror each other in your situations. You both may be very alike. Um, although I don't feel like you're your person is a Capricorn. I feel like you're very alike, okay? Um, and I feel like it's easy to um, kind of collaborate. It's easy, easy to partner with this person. They're very easygoing and, you know, willing to work through the situations. That's why I feel like we have this friendship here, okay? Because it, that's exactly how I was feeling. It's not just a lover. They are a true friend. Okay? So let's get an outcome for Capricorn. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Judgment card. At the bottom, we have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like there may be a gift on the table. There may be some kind of offer, some good news that's coming through. Um, some good news is going to bring some fire or spark into your relationship. I also feel like there's a lot of jealousy in this relationship. You know, they don't want you to veer off or, you know, you don't want them to veer off. There's, there's. A lot of jealousy here, but I feel like it's kind of playful jealousy, you know, until something gets serious. I'm, I'm going to say that, but I feel like everything's really playful. But I do see jealousy here. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you to anyone else. They feel very renewed by you. Their faith has renewed. This is, you know, a new spark taking you both out of your comfort zone and trying something new. I think that's where we get this change here because I feel like your relationship is changing and evolving. Um, there be, may be some situation to where you may not even fully understand, but your person may want to do a certain job or a certain activity, a certain hobby. You may not understand it, but you accept it because that's what they're doing. That's what they love. Okay, so you're going with those changes. You're going with that movement, with that evolution of your relationship. Okay, so beautiful message, Capricorn. Okay, let's get an, an angel number. What does Capricorn need to hear right now? Give me an angel number, please, for Capricorn. Okay, this one. Okay, we have 999, release. Endings are now beginnings in disguise. An ending symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper is reminding you to release and allow. It is... In the release where the magic happens. Okay, so there may be something that you are needing to release. Maybe you're needing to release that jealousy or some kind of situation in your relationship. Okay, so your affirmation is doors open for me 
where others have closed, bringing transformation to my mind, my body, and my soul. Doors open for me where others have closed, bringing transformation to my mind, my body, and my soul. Okay, so beautiful energy. Okay, I hope this helps you, Capricorn. I hope this, you know, gives you more of an understanding. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Um, the rules on this reading can flip-flop. So, take it how it resonates, okay? And if you like, you can also take a look at your person's sign and see what messages lies there as well. Otherwise, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising and your Venus for love in the March playlist. And until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.